so before start the actual project explanation i request you please subscribe my channel so you can see on the screen up till now i have uploaded more than 66 video on raspberry pi the raspberry pi with iot that is all this video then also iot with arduino all this video are 26 and recently we started the new series on the pick my controller before that i also cover the project on the python web application so if you want to learn python iot raspberry pi arduino pick from the scratch and from uh, freely then please subscribe my channel please support me and the most important part is whatever the code i have explained whatever the project i have created on this youtube channel all these projects are freely available you no need to pay anything for this project so just if only point is you should watch complete video and you should follow my process so if you want to learn something from the scratch and freely then support me and please subscribe my channel and please click on like button hello friend in today's session we will learn very interesting project the project name is some home security system by using rfid and gsm module so before start this video i would like to tell you what will be the flow of this project so that you will get idea about each and everything about this project so basically you can see on the screen we have the many sensor so basically we have the gsm 900a module then we have lcd then we, we have pr sensor then we have servo motor then we have rfid module and then we have arduino and also we have one switch so what is use of exactly this sensor in this project i will tell you so basically this rfid module will scan whether there is a valid person or invalid person okay so this scan let's say assume this scan is attached uh, at your door and this servo motor uh, act as a door door open and door close system so let's say if the valid person enter uh, he wants to enter in the house so what it, he will do he will scan his rfid by using this rfid sensor so once this can happen and the, that is the valid person then gate will be open and gate will be closed that means he enter in the house okay let's say if any invalid person scan his rfid tag on his on this rfid model then what happen if there is invalid person then this gsm model will send the message to the user like uh, someone try to access your door or someone try to enter your house it is unauthorized person that is the message he will uh, that this arduino will send on the respective user so this is the one part so second part is let's say if any any user or any person directly jump into house without scanning this rfid tag he directly enter from the terrace or somewhere so what will happen this pr sensor detect whether there is a human movement inside the house or not if there is a human movement inside the house and this tag is not scanned before that then it is invalid person in, into the house so the gsm model send the message on Unauth unauthorized user enter in your house so this basically this pr sensor scan whether there is a person inside house or not if the valid tag scan from this rfid sensor and get open and get calls after that if the sensor scan there is a person in the house then it will not send the message because it is a valid person if rfid tag it's not scan and gate will me will not open and close that time and after that if the sensor scan if there is a person movement then it will immediately send the message to the user like someone is enter in your house like that one okay so that is the flow now what is use of this switch this switch is very important so basically let's say the valid person scan his tag enter in the house and after that this movement will detect so if he want uh, then this device will say continuously send the message like someone in the house someone in the house so if you stop that message if you stop the security system then you can press this switch by pressing this switch the security system will stop it will not send the message and let's say if the user wants to go out of from the house then what he will do he will again press this switch and again activate the security system so if he is outside the house then the security system work and he again scan if there is a valid person invalid person and respect to that it will send the message this lcd basically used to give the idea give the message to the user scan the card or the security system activate or not so that type of message it will show on the screen so this is the complete idea i hope you understand the complete flow of this project now we will see the practical demonstration of this project 
and then we will see the hardware connection and then we will see the program part of this video now we will see the practical demonstration of this project so you can see i remove the power from the arduino once i give the power then it will display on the screen home security system and then after that it will show uh, scan your card or something so let's i will give the power first so at the starting it will calibrate the servo motor with to the initial position so you can see again i will give the power so that you can observe here it will show the uh, project name home security system and then scan your card now uh, it is asking scan the rfi tag so i have two rfi tag this is one rfi tag this is another so two are the rfi tag so this is the valid rfi tag and this is the invalid so when i give the valid rfi tag near to this sensor then get will be open and get will be closed so currently you can see it is continuously showing unauthorized access access also on the lcd because this pr sensor detect my movement so that means some more enter in the house so first i disable this security system you can see security system deactivated now it will not send any message so i uh, temporarily i have disabled this this uh, security system so i will show the first part so you can see i have scanned this so get open and get closed so that means someone enter in the house and it is valid person it is also show showing on the screen valid person you can see again valid person card uh, detected and get open get closed so this is the one part now we will see unauthorized scan so this is unauthorized or you can say invalid uh, rfid ca card and you can see and one second and here is you can see uh, mobile uh, user mobile where from my number there is no any message right now i will send unauthorized person access message here also so i you can see when i tap this card unauthorized card it will show on the screen unauthorized access it will send the message here so access you can see invalid person detected and now wait for some second it will send the message you can see message receive unauthorized person enter in, in your house so this is one part now again what i will do i will enable the security system so from this switch i have i will enable security system activated now once the pr sensors detect my movement you can see to detect my movement and it will show it will send continuously message you can see unauthorized second message show you can see unauthorized person enter in house because this pr sensor continuously detecting my movement and on the lcd also you can see unauthorized access and at the same time you can see unauthorized access person enter in your house message received on the mobile so you can see continuously it will show okay now one part also we will see now it is continuously showing unauthorized access because uh, no valid rfid scan is uh, rfid tag is scan from this sensor so that's why it is show unauthorized access and it is continuously sending the message here you can see continuously i am getting message you can see lots of message i receive up till now you can see lots of message continuously it is send because it is it is scanning my movement there so what i will do i will give the valid scan you can see valid so once the valid tag is there then even if you if there is a movement you can see even there is a movement inside the house i i am giving my hand movement there it is not showing unauthorized scan on uh, unauthorized access because valid person enter in the house now let's say if the valid person wants to go out of house so what it will he will do he will again enable this security system activated now you can see it is continue showing unauthorized access because valid person go out of out from the house there is no valid scan and some movement is detecting inside the house that's why it's showing unauthorized access so that is the complete overflow i hope 
you understand the complete overflow of this project practical demonstration of this project now we'll see, we will see the now we will see the hardware connection and then we will see the program part okay another part i want to show you if there is a no movement inside the house then it will not show unauthorized access now it is detecting my movement i will stop my movement for 1 to 2 minutes it will just show scan your card so i'll stop my movement completely so you can see once i stop my movement it is not showing unauthorized access that means our PR sensor is completely working fine there is no issue with the PR sensor if I give some movement in, in, in my house or in my room it will show unauthorized access now I am moving somewhere little bit and showing some movement you can see it starts showing un unauthorized access and at the same time it should show the message you can see continuously it's showing the message so that is the use of PR sensor so everything is working from this project there is no issue project is working successfully uh, project is working 100% if you follow the connection if you follow the video definitely you, you can also design this project by yourself ok now I have removed all the hardware we will see one by one how to connect all the hardware so Arduino this is Arduino on Arduino there is a pin number you can refer that one so first circuit is this one you can use breadboard for that one no need zero PCB only what you need common VCC so common point is there and common ground so basically from the Arduino 5 volt we take as a common VCC and Arduino ground will take as a common ground so whenever we require common VCC or common ground we will take from this one you can use a breadboard also for this there is no issue so first point is positive terminal should be connected to 5 volt from the Arduino and negative terminal should be connected to ground so whenever I require the ground I will take from here and whenever I require the 5 volt I will take from here it is very basic circuit ok now after that this LCD I already told my previous video in detail LCD connection here I will just explain in very short if you want detail explanation please watch that video that video thumbnail, uh, thumbnail you can see on the screen so basically there are four pin we will connect that four pin so where in quick I will show ground pin should be connected to ground so from this one ground pin so whenever I need ground I will connect from here ground then VCC pin so this is the VCC pin I will connect from 5 volt so this is the common 5 volt then after that uh, you can see SCL pin SCL pin should be connected to end point of Arduino so there is an end point of Arduino please watch that video if you don't understand here that I explain very detail so end point is here and then SCL pin just near to that pin you can see this one see these two pins I have connected one is end uh, I will show you quickly so there should be not any confusion so this two this two you can see this one this one and near to that so this two pin I use so SCL should be connected to at the end and uh, SDA should be connected to near to that so like this connection of LCD so that LCD is completed uh, now next part is this one RFI tag so it is very easy you can see on the screen the connection of RF, RFI tag with Arduino you can follow that you can follow that circuit so first 3.3 voltage we have to connect to Arduino 3.3 voltage so basically this RFI tag having the pin uh, number explain here on RFI tag you can follow that one so 3.3 voltage should be connected to Arduino 3.3 voltage which is here ok then after that uh, uh, RST pin so this is the RST pin this is the RST pin of this RFID my RST pin so this RST pin should be connected to 9 number I am just following the connection what you see on the screen so 9 number I will place here ok that's it then after that uh, after that there is a next pin is ground pin so ground pin should be connected to ground so we can take the common ground from here so this is my common ground 
then after that you can see uh, uh, next pin we have to no need to connect then miso this is the miso pin that should be connected to 12 number of arduino so 10 11 12 number okay and then after that moso so this is the moso pin that should be connected to 11 number of arduino so connected 11 number then after that you can see there is a SCA pin that should be connected to 13 number pin of Arduino. So 13 number pin and then last pin is SDA pin that should be connected to 10 number pin of Arduino. Okay, it's simple connection. So this is completed. I will just use a lot of here so it will not go anywhere. So this is done. So this is done RFID. It is very simple. Just follow that connection. Now the next part is now next connection is servo motor. Servo motor is again very simple connection. There are three pins on this servo motor. You can see. I will remove this one. It is not required right now. So this three pins. One uh, the brown pin is nothing but your ground. The red pin is nothing but your uh, 5 volt supply pin and the yellow pin is nothing but your uh, output pin that is the connected to the Arduino. So this is very simple connection. So you can see on the screen the connection diagram. Same connection diagram you can follow. The brown pin. So this is my brown pin. It is connected to ground. Okay. Then uh, red pin. This is my red pin. It is connected to VCC that is 5 volt and the output pin that is the orange pin or yellow pin you can see that should be connected to as per diagram 3 number pin of Arduino so just connect to the 0 1 2 3 so servo motor connection is completed very easy now next connection is PR sensor so PR sensor connection also you can see on the screen there are three pins on the PR sensor. It is very easy. When you plug out this, then you will find here the name, uh, ground, output and VCC. So connect VCC to 5 volt, ground to ground. So this is my VCC. This is my ground and middle one is output. So very easy. So this is my VCC. So I will connect to 5 volt. Okay. So this is my ground, ground pin of PR sensor, it should be connected to ground and middle one pin of PR sensor is output pin that should be connected to 4 number pin of Arduino. So 4 number pin of Arduino. So this also completed this PR sensor, I will just place here PR sensor. Okay. Uh, now the next part is GSM model, GSM model again very easy. When you purchase this GSM 900, uh, there is a pin connection which is given here. You can see those are the pin connection. We just need ground pin and the RSD pin. So ground pin of this GSM model. So I will put that GSM model here. And this ground pin should be connected to ground. So I will just place this ground pin to ground and RxD pin of so this is my RxD pin of GSM model that should be connected to two number pin of Arduino let me check once again RxD pin is two number or which one sorry uh, RxD pin of GSM model that should be connected to five number pin of Arduino so that is connected to five number pin of Arduino so RxD pin five number that is only two connection then after that for this GSM model you require for this GSM model you require 12 volt 1 ampere adapter uh, you have to give the power here from this you can see this is the power uh, at this point of GSM model at this point you can give the power place this plug here ok it is very important you should give the power 
Yeah, you should give the power like this. Once you give the power, just plug this to the your main uh, house supply so that it will give the power there and place your SIM card here. So 12 volt, one ampere adapter you require for this GSM. And I use the GSM 900A model. So after, uh, so almost we completed. Only switch model is remaining. I will show you the switch, switch model connection. So only last part is remaining. That is the switch circuit. I have made this switch circuit on the zero PCB. You can use the breadboard also. The circuit connection you can see on the screen. So I will just show you what you have to do. So first is ground pin. From this switch should be connected to common ground. So here you can see common ground. And then positive pin from this switch circuit should be connected to 5 volt. And in the circuit diagram, it shows switch pin is connected to switch pin is connected to two number of Arduino. So from that circuit, you can follow the output pin from this this one should be connected to two number pin of Arduino. So two number pin you can see here. So we completed the hardware connection. Now I will give the power supply to the Arduino. So how to give the power supply to Arduino? Just this pin, you can see this is the Arduino pin. So to just plug here, and after that, you can give the power supply from the laptop. Just put this USB to your laptop. So let's see if our circuit works. That means uh, all circuits are very good. Yeah, it is working. You can see home security system scan your card. Now I will give the scan card. Valid access detected. Servo motor is working, everything is working fine. PR sensor is working or not, that we will see. Uh, it should show. Uh, sorry, I will activate this security system activated. Now, let's see any movement on PR sensor. You can see unauthorized access. So, our PR sensor also working fine. All circuit is working in front of you. I have connected the circuit, it is working perfectly. You can follow this uh, circuit and uh, your project will be working fine. Okay, now let's understand the program. So very important first part is uh, you should download this folder from my web page link, the web page link given in the description. So from that one, you will find one zip file. You have to unzip that file and then you will get all these folders. So here is basically some circuit diagrams there and uh, program that I use. So after that you require pro, uh, Arduino software in your laptop. If you don't have the software, please watch my accident detection video. The thumbnail you can see on the screen. In that video, I explain how to install the software, this software in your laptop. Okay. After that, what you have to do? You have to open this Arduino software, then go to the file and then go to the open and then go to that folder location so this one and inside this there is a program open this program so your program will be open now very important point is first you check your laptop should have the internet connection because we have to install this library for example m m r uh, m m f r c 522 this library you require so how to install and this library also you require so how to install those library if any library missing at your end it you compilation error like library uh, not found so just go to the uh, this one sketch go to the sketch and then go to the include library and then go to the manage library so after that it will open library window just wait for some second okay so it will open just wait for some second it will complete this download index uh, process okay once it done then you can search your library for example this liquid crystal uh, mr mfrc 522 just type here and it will search the library just wait for some second so you can see uh, this library install uh, it is showing the information so which library i have installed i will okay so you can see i think i have installed this library mfrc uh, 522 spi to c library you are so this library also you can install at your end i have already installed with version 1.5.1 so like this you can install this library 
and then i2c library also you can install uh, liquid crystal so copy this just search the i2c liquid crystal library here so like this you can type liquid crystal i2c and after that you can see uh, this library i have used liquid crystal i2c my version is 1.1 1.2 so in your case you can select the latest version and try to click on install button and then the library install like this click on install button and then library will install so once you install the library you can verify whether library install in or not just go to the file then go to the example and uh, here you can search whatever library install so for example liquid crystal i2c name is there then uh, m m m mfr c522 uh, name is there so likewise this library i have installed already so very important you should install this two library or any library missing just install that one with that process so in the code at the starting we include all this library that is our first steps then after that for gsm model we require rxt export so we define rxt export as here you can see four number pin four number pin work as a rx of arduino and five number is tx of arduino so that uh, we connected five number pin to uh, gsm rx pin uh, that's the reason because there should be cross connection between R rx uh, of arduino and tx of uh, this gsm model and tx of arduino to rx of gsm model so that's why we connected only five number pin because we are not receiving any response from the gsm model to the arduino we are sending the response so that's why tx pin of arduino should be connected to rx pin of gsm model then for servo connection we require one servo object we define here then take request 27 why it is 27 that i uh, because this is the i2c address of your liquid crystal uh, lcd model how to find i2c address if you, if you don't know in your case if 27 not work then you have to find your i2c address so how to find please watch my liquid crystal video that video you will get idea how to find this uh, address try with 27 first if not work then go to that video and check your i2c address uh, and then that address should be uh, replaced with here then servo motor pin we connected to three number then this some wedge, uh, variable then button pin we connected two number then PR sensor we connected four number so all these are the numbers whatever the connection we have given uh, then after that main part is coming here void setup so for GSM model we use baud rate 9600 that's why baud rate we define here then all the pin which are the input output uh, functionality we define here you can see PR sensor as the input button as the input so that's why two pin as the input here then servo motor we attach the servo motor to start the control of servo motor then we initializing the LCD then backlight turn on then baud rate serial baud rate 9300 SPI beginning we start a like for our, your RFID model it's require SPI communication that's why we started the SPI here then we initialize the our model then we are printing on the serial terminal here like approximate your card is reading that the message then on the LCD we first clear then on LCD we print home security system uh, so basically when you want to print on the first line of LCD first row then you have to give 00, 0 command then print if you want to say uh, print on the second row then 0, 01 command and then print then home security system so like this it will print on the two line then some delay then initialization of servo motor at the 20 degree so that's why we given here 20 so you can uh, uh, like, like if you want 30 degree initialization then you can give 30 value 90 degree you can give 90 value so it is initial value of your servo motor then some delay then initially we are checking if button is press or not to activate or deactivate security system so here we are checking whether button is press or not if the button press then we are getting the high signal from that line you can see this is the button line and if button press then we get high signal so once we get high signal we are checking whether the system already active or deactive so if the system is already active then we have to deactivate the system and we have to print on the lcd system uh, security system deactive else if the system is already deactive then we have to active the system so we we given value one and then we are printing security system active so this is the logic uh, where you are deactivating and activating the security system so after that uh, 
we are reading the PR sensor input with the same logic you can see and if the PR sensor input is low that means there is someone detected inside the room then we are giving the warm cycle and after that warm cycle we are printing if the system is active that means uh, there is a security system active once we press the button then we are checking if the system is active then send the unauthorized access on the LCD and then send the message to the user if system is active PR sensor detect uh, any person in the room then send the message this is the logic behind that one you can see this is the logic behind that one it's very simple if if else loop only and then after that we are clearing the LCD we are printing on the LCD scan your card then here it is checking whether there is a new card or not and once you scan the card your UID gets uh, read by this for loop and once your UID gets read then uh, you can see this serial terminal so basically uh, at the starting you have to check your what is the card number how to check just uh, connect your Arduino and the RFID module and download the program and then open the serial terminal and just scan your card so once you scan your card your card number will be print there and then you can replace this card number by your card number so here you can see uh, I have given my card number here so in your case you have to give your card number uh, otherwise I will give another program with this only this one RFI with Arduino so with this program also you can verify what is your card number connection will be same there is no change in connection so I also put this program in here so this program you can open Let's say open so what exactly this program will do same connection there is no 10 9 number same pins we use here you can see 10 and 9 number 10 and 9 number same pins so this program only print your uh, 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 like same program only print like what is your card number so once you have the card number download this program attach your RFID card and check your number here also it will be possible to check the number because I am printing on the screen so once you check your number just replace your number here otherwise it will give unauthorized access to you continuously so once your number gets match here after your card scan then it will deactivate system because we don't want to activate system because uh, <laughs> because valid person enter in the room then after that LCD clear we are printing on the LCD where it access card detected then we have to turn on the servo motor from 20 degree to 180 degree uh, this is the logic we have to send the 20 then 21 22 23 like this angle we are sending you can see s dot right position position we are taking from the for loop and then once is raised to the 180 degree then again from the 180 degree we have to uh, decrease 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 uh, and we are sending till 20 degree so on uh, sorry open and close logic is here for servo motor then if the invalid card is here you can see once this lo location from here yeah so from here if there is an invalid card is detected then it go to here and directly print on the LCD invalid card access and it will call send message function into send message function you can see there is a number you can replace your number by uh, replace this number by your number so I will put here star 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 so instead of this number you can put your number and then uh, replace your number and whatever number like whoever the person you want to send this message just place that number here do not delete anything backslash this double quote only star star you can delete otherwise it will not send the message so you can see again I will show the number and I just removed the number nothing backslash no need to delete double quote no need to delete otherwise it will not send the message so focus on here and then yeah it will send a t command then on that number it will send this message so if you want to change the message you can give message whatever you want uh, I have given this message if you want to give another message you can give here and yeah that is the logic behind this code i hope you understand the logic completely 
now once you have this code just verify with this verify button so if there is no error it should be verify here give done message done compile there is means there is no error then again you can take your arduino plug the pin into arduino and your laptop like this Hit plug and then go to the just do the connection whatever i told all these things and then go to the board select here arduino you know and then com port as per your com port select here com port and just click on this upload button and once it's successfully uploaded that means your program will be run so that is the idea behind this complete project complete code hardware connection i hope you understand all the things uh, if you have any doubt please reach me out i give on my mobile number in the description code you can download from my web page link given in the description so that's how all about today's video if you have anything reach me out any time on my whatsapp number okay thanks for watching this video